Hello, welcome back. Well, empty gun. Well, the 690 is fixed. It had a broken inertia block spring and I sent it to Beretta in uh, Melbourne. I'm in Adelaide and they fixed it for no charge. Didn't have to pay for freight, labor or parts. And the gun is four years old. It's twice, this is the second time the inertia block spring has broken, but they fixed it uh, at no charge. So that was really, really good service from uh, Beretta. So that's my trusty 690. And as you know, because, because uh, the 690 broke, I thought it was an opportunity to maybe buy another gun. And it's the first time I've bought a second-hand gun. And you know from the previous video that I bought the ASE Gold. And, but that on that gun that I showed you, the lug on the barrels where the fore-end attaches broke off. Now, it doesn't happen often, but it does happen. But I want to show you, the guy who sold it to me was really good. He said, do you want to swap the gun over? And I said, yes, please, I would like to swap the gun over. So I've got a different ASE Gold. And I think this one is much better. And I just want to show you the case on this one. This actually comes with its most of the attachments. It's got the cleaning rods that you put together. And it's got the lever to take out the uh, stock. And it's got the, the brushes. I'll show you the brushes. They're 20 years old, and so you might be interested in seeing them. That's the, that's the um, copper brush. Never been used. 20 years old, the gun. They stopped making them in 2005. That's the wool attachment. Never been used. Perfectly white. And this one was interesting. On this one, it never been used either. You run, a, you run a cloth through that gap and wind it around and then you can swab your barrels with it. But they are so sharp, you want to make sure that you put a lot of cloth on there so you don't um, scratch the barrels. So that's the, the cleaning things. And the, the, the cleaning rod is really, it is really very nice. Uh, now they all come basically in plastic, but you you will remember these cleaning rods and they were a bit of a work of art themselves and um, So that's it. It's got the it's got the parts to it So that is a good indication when you buy a second-hand gun if the if the gun comes with its original uh, Components the other gun had nothing of this so the owner might have been a bit you know, not looked after it too well. And so here's the gun, and it even comes in its um, in its sock. So there's the, the sock that it uh, comes in. And uh, I washed it the other day, so it's nice and nice and clean. It was a bit oily. And here's the here's the the barrels. And I'll show you what happened to the other ASE. Now, Beretta make a special point, and I'm going to say this again. When you take off the forend, you lift the latch, and with your thumb, you gently push it out a little bit. Then you don't, you don't pull it out this way. You push it out that way. And Beretta make a special point of not going like that with it. And this is what broke on the ASE Gold this little latch where the forend attaches. I always thought it was all part of the barrels, just one piece, but it's not. It's soldered on. That little latch is soldered on. And so uh, Beretta, I sent it to Beretta, the AC Gold, but they wouldn't have a go at it because they said you have to have jigs. And if you put too much heat on these barrels, you could warp the barrels. So they didn't want to have a go at it. So the guy who sold me the gun has sent it off to a gunsmith and he's got the jigs and everything to resolder it and keep the barrels straight. But for an old gun, the, the bluing on the gun is brilliant. 
And I just want to show you, this has actually got Teague chokes. If they were genuine Beretta chokes, they'd be mobile chokes. But these are Teague chokes, and there's only two of them. There's no others. There's only three quarters and four. Now, the key to take out these chokes was missing. And th these old chokes haven't got the little notch that the, the key slots into to take out the chokes. So what I did was I made up this little tube. That's an irrigation stopper. That's a piece of uh, PVC pipe, and I've cut those slits in it. And these chokes are fairly tight. So if I, I put it into the barrel, and I give it a hit, and then I can turn it, and the chokes will come out. And if they don't, you just give it another little smack, and there's the chokes coming out. And these are... These are Teague chokes. They're only short ones. And that is, says Teague on there. And it is full. And it's well greased. I took it out and cleaned it. And then to put it back, you just screw it back in. And you got to make sure that it's nice and tight. It doesn't have to be really, really tight, but they've got to be firm. And there it is. So to make sure it's tight, you give it a bit of a whack and give it a tighten, and you know that that is all good. And then I'll, tell you, I'll show you how it works with the bottom one. Same system. You give it a whack, and then... If, let's see if it's coming out. It's not... It's not coming out, so the plastic isn't in there tight enough. So you give it a bit of a whap, and then it comes. And there it is. So when I put it back, I screw it back in, give it a whack to make sure it grabs, and turn it. And now, I always check the chokes because I can see if there's a little ridge there. And of course, if the chokes get loose, then when you fire it, the pressure will get behind the chokes, blow the chokes out, and your gun's gone. So, that's an important point. Here's the, the action, and it comes in its own, own sock, and there it is. So when we put it together, we put the lever to one side, we get the barrels, and we put them together, push them together, and beautiful sound that the AC makes, the cross lock system. And put the forend on, just slide it on gently, slide it on gently, and it will click into place. There it is. And it is nice and firm. So when you buy a second hand gun, check that this forend doesn't wiggle and jiggle. And there it is, the the six um, the ASE Gold 690. I've put I've put a new pad on it, uh, a kick ease pad, because it was thinner to shorten the length of pull. This is the original Beretta pad, and you know it's the original one because it's got a hole in the middle to take so you can take out the stock without having to take out the recoil pad in that hole there. So that's the original Beretta pad. And those of you who watch my videos will know that this is not the perfect shotgun because it does not have a mid-bead yet, and I will get a mid-bead put on, and it does not have an adjustable stock. I did shoot it today. The first time I shot it, I got a 24 out of 25 then a 23, and then a 24. So for a first time shooting it, I was pretty happy. So that is the ASE Gold. But when you buy a second hand gun, look carefully at the condition of it, because um, I had a bad experience with the other one, but the guy who sold it to me was really good. This one, by the way, does have bowler steel, bowler plus internet, 
barrels, and that was the, the steel made in uh, Austria and everything else. So there it is, the, my uh, second go at owning an ASE Gold. Thank you for watching, stay well, and I'll see you again soon.